episode 76 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Last episode was not a good one, was it? We sort of saw the effect of all of these games stacking up, being in three competitions is going to be hard for this very small squad with a bit of a lack of depth. I think that is one of the huge issues. Have we got into Europe too soon? Are we a big enough club yet? Are we doing a Fulham? Remember when they nearly won the Europa League but also nearly got relegated? That could be us, it's not going to be us this season. We're not going to do that badly, but we have been taught a couple of harsh lessons in our group and we are going to struggle to get out of it, I feel. Uh, we've got Aston Villa, we've got a little bit of a break and then a nice long break before we go into the second round of the FA Cup. Really like to progress a little bit further this year. Uh, let's take a look at the size. I think we'll just get straight into it. Nothing really to talk about, other than obviously remembering that Maxi Romero is on a flashing blue arrow. Brilliant. A little bit tired, but you've got to start him. What is that Villa formation? What the... What? That's an odd one. They've got Kajia up top. He's dangerous. Playing three centre-backs. This is the weirdest formation I've ever seen. It's going to be interesting to play against, for sure. So Mario, and also a few others, I think, in the comments, suggested that I call my unborn son, who's coming in October, Maxi. And I replied, you don't really get many Maxis in England. What did I hear yesterday? Someone calling their son Maxi across a shop. I thought, is this a sign? I don't know. But if Maxi scores a hat-trick today against Villa, I'm going to have to consider it. I think the bulldozer, Chidozi, who's been great, I think he's going to have to drop to the bench today. <sighs> and bring in Callum. Yep, that's fine. Sassignon sort of had some good games, some bad games. Uh, Goni wasn't too bad coming in. The ass man, obviously, we know now we can't play him. Butland's going to have to play with two broken legs if he has to. We can't bring in the ass man. He was terrible. Uh, only question is, Nabry maybe of a Lookman? I think that makes sense, although Nabry's quite tired as well. Hmm. We'll start Nabry because he's on a blue. I think that's just about it. Let's get into it. So I think bringing in Assman in the last episode really showed us how crucial Butland has been to this side. Does a lot of uh, really solid work that you probably don't even get to see in the highlights because he just snuffs stuff out. He's such a good shot stopper. The Assman, he couldn't do it. Butland's quick off his line. The Assman, slow. Very slow. Juan Brunetta there needs to improve his performances. He could do with a big game today. We could do with a big game to respond to the poor performances. Let's go. Oh, Kajia's got the better of Bernardo there. Oh no, too early. Fuck! <laughs> Awful. Awful defending there. It was a stupid slide from Gomez, and then Bernardo needed to be. And then Bernardo needed to be much more decisive there. And then Butland, after everything said about the ass man in the build up, made exactly the same mistake ass man made in the last episode. Came too early, wasn't quick enough. Nabry, that's nice. Ball over the top into Maxi. First touch is there. The finish is not there. First chance of the game here for Leeds. And we're fairly deep into this first half. This is much better. Nabry spots the run of Maxi Romero. You'd expect him to put this away on a dramatic improvement. Maybe the first touch wasn't his best. Took him away from goal. But 26 minutes in, that is our first chance. We're having a tough time today. Bernardo does well. Rises strongly. Maxi Romero considered the ball out to Nabry, but he'll step inside here. On the left foot, it's a good hit. Get the ball to Maxi. Feed the dragon. Gomez, well intercepted there. And now De Jong through the centre. He's got options left and right here. Brunetta to one side. Cliver way out to the other. That's not really the ball we wanted there. Cliver can put one into the box. De Jong smart flick into Brunetta, outside of the boot, lovely work there. Well, De Jong's ball in the first place really killed that move. Somehow we were able to just about salvage something out of it. Clivert's ball into De Jong, found him with plenty of time to pick out Juan Brunetta. Still had a fair amount to do though, the Argentinian. He showed some of his trademark class there with an outside of the boot curler, big fan of that. And honours even again, let's, uh, let's get another goal before the half. Nabry now over the halfway line, only Maxi Romero ahead of him. Pulled out wide here. I don't like it when Maxi does that. I don't understand why he does that, but he's done it here. Nabry now into the box, still dancing now. Serge Nabry with the curling effort, just wide. Unlucky. Maxi Romero came out wide. Wasn't really many other options for the young German. But oh, he's actually not, not that young anymore, is he? But anyway, for the German to cut inside onto his weaker foot, not far off. Gomez, lovely ball out to Nabry. 
Oh, he steps away from him, Bong. Maxi Romero has made a run. It's pushed in towards the Argentinian. The stooping header is well saved. Should have been 2-1 there, though. Oh, defenders, get back. Hogan is played through by Jack Grealish. Gomez across, got to be careful there. The cutback is on. Dealt with just about. And there we are, half time here at Ellen Road, and it's not been all smooth sailing for Leeds. Came back into it pretty well towards the end of the second half. And to be fair, Villa's only shot on goal got them the first goal in this game. But we need to play better. We seem to have a bit of a hangover still from the poor performances in the last episode. Let's improve in this second half, Marcelo Bielsa. I'm sure have some stern words for his side. You just aren't quite performing up to their usual standard. Oh, Kajia now. Grealish. Bit of pressure here from Villa. That's a lovely ball in, but Bernardo deals with it well. And calmly away to Sessegnon. He can speed forward now. Sessegnon inside to Brunetta. Plenty of white shirts forward here. Brunetta over the top into Maxi Romero. We'll let it fall here. That is absolutely top class. He's reached up into the very highest draw. And he's pulled something out there. And it's the well-trodden path. Juan Brunetta, Juan Believable through the center. The clever run from Maxi Romero. The perfect timing and the lovely volley. Could have taken a touch there, but you know on the form that he's in. It's going goalward. The keeper couldn't get a touch to it. And we're ahead here. Brunetta, nice ball into Cliver. First time ball back into Juan Brunetta. Out on this left-hand side now. Juan Brunetta will cut back in. Sees the run of Nabry. Smart back heel into C-Pats. Into the box. Juan Brunetta's there. He's offside. That's not what we wanted. So triple sub just to save some legs here. It's Lookman, Goni, and Chidozi coming on. Chidozi coming into central midfield. I think Bielsa thinks he's got this one all wrapped up, even with a fair amount of time left. I think we probably do. Chidozi ball in. Nabry, touch. Maxi Romero has fallen kindly here. We'll get to Juan Brunetta. No, it won't. Lansbury does well. Oh, chance hill for El Ghazi as he's through. Butland's out. Oh, El Ghazi's done very well there. Fuck! <laughs> Bollocks! I <laughs> can't believe this. Thought we had this game well under control. This might only be their second chance of the game. Done very well there, though, to pass it through. <laughs> That's very cool, calm attacking play there from El Ghazi. Fuck, right, fine. Got to score another goal. Maybe we were too quick to make those subs. Oh, Goni doesn't make a very good tackle there. It's back to Lansbury. Oh, shit. Well, Goni's come on and possibly cost us three points here. He was out of position for the second goal. And then here, he needed to make that challenge, but he didn't. He let the man skip away. And then Butland is beaten. Fuck. This has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Chidozi now out to Sessignon. Sessignon will cut inside here. Ball looking for Juan Brunetta. Oh, no, it's Maxi Romero. It doesn't matter. We've scored. Have we scored? Oh, fuck. I thought that might have been offside. Oh, and he's well offside as well. I thought it was Juan Brunetta. It wasn't. It was Romero, and he was acres offside. Seven minutes left here. How have we done this? Maxi, good ball out to Nabry. He's only got the dozer to aim for in the box, but he'll jump for it. Oh, it's a great effort from the defender. It's back to uh, Juan Brunetta now. Gets the shot off and it's blocked. Oh, it's, it's not going to be our day, is it? It's not going to be our day with only four minutes left. Good challenge, Bernardo. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, we've committed too many men forward now. And Jonathan Kajia is through. Chips it over Butland. And that is game over here. We've been embarrassed at home by Premier League newcomers Aston Villa. Something has gone horribly wrong this season. We've made changes. Is that the problem? We had tired legs today. Nabry now, it would only be a consolation. Fuck, it's a good consolation, but only a consolation. I can't even get excited about one of the best goals we've scored this season. Nabry cutting inside. Lovely footwork here. It's a great hit, but where was that earlier in the game? Unbelievable. One of the biggest disappointments of the season so far. We've lost twice in the Champions League. But that hurts more. That really hurts. So that's a, a draw and two losses in a row. In a game we should have won. We just gave them four chances. And they scored four goals. But they were pretty easy chances in the end. It's not too much of a surprise. 
Oh, gutted. Gutted, gutted, gutted. I think we made the changes too early. We bought on Goni, and he's just not good enough. He's not at a high enough level, and we're eight points now off Manchester City, who are yet to lose a game. We've lost two. We've fucked it already. Congratulations. We might as well just stop this all now. If it wasn't for the... Oh, we're already out of the Champions League. I was about to say, if it wasn't for the Champions League. But we're not going anywhere in that either. We get a nice couple of weeks off to think about how fucking terrible that was. Oh, we've had a bid from Maxi. Shut up. Oh, of course Butland's injured. Of course he fucking is. Well, th at least, thankfully, to all the people who said don't bother signing a uh, reserve keeper because the keepers never get injured. Turns out they do. Turns out they bloody well do. How long for? Just one week. But he would have missed this game. We wouldn't have had a keeper this FA Cup game. Thank fuck for that. We're on a losing streak. I can't remember the last time we're on a losing streak. Do you remember the winning streak we were on? I barely do. Feels like a million years ago. At least everyone's fit for this. This won't be an easy game. Bournemouth are a good side. But we really cannot lose now. We have to win this one. So let me know in the comments. I'm sure you probably already plan to. What you think is the reason for this terrible patch of form? Is it bringing in all the new players? Do we think we're missing the Kobos effect? It certainly was effective for us. Oh, it's just not quite sure. Oh, Juan Fran. What a signing. He's won it back there. Fraser inside to Wilson. Ryan Fraser is through. The arse man is called into action. Makes his first save of the game. We need him to make a few of them today, I'm sure. We haven't seen him capable of that so far. So, free kick here for Bournemouth. Eight minutes in. Not a lot to uh, talk on. Except for it's been very fast-paced here. Oh, Fraser, lovely footwork. De Jong, no, bollocks. That's a goal for Bournemouth then. There's no way the ass man is keeping this out. It's going to be either the diminutive Scotsman or it's going to be Sandro, thankfully, into the wall. And the ass man with a good punch. De Jong, nice flick into Romero. Can we launch a two-man break here? As the Dutchman just needs to time this right, and he does... Maxi Romero now, surely gets us off the mark. Easy. Perfect counter-attack there. Lovely work from Frankie de Jong as well. Important flick on. And then time the pass just right. And Maxi Romero, well, I don't know how he didn't score in the last game. Let's not forget he's on a dramatic improvement. He's already the best striker in the league. Get him into that position though. Very unlikely he's going to miss. He should do it a bit more often. We couldn't do it much in the last game. He didn't have enough chances. Bernardo, what a pass into Lutman. That is quite spectacular. Brunetta now into Maxi on the left foot. It's a great effort there. Dug that out. Oh, it's fallen to Cliver, And that is very poor defending and goalkeeping in the end. Cliver didn't get anywhere near the connection on that that I'm sure he would have liked. That was a great opportunity, though, from Romero. I mean, it was a difficult opportunity, but he did well to get the shot off. And Cliver reacted quickly there to the defensive error. We've scored a second here in quick succession. Wilson into the box. Lovely first touch across to Fraser. Great turn. Oh, Gomez is there. As the ass man was about to watch that slowly roll into his own net. And that was close. First big chance for Bournemouth. Oh, Sandro is through and he's onside. How is he onside? Ass man. Yes. Great work there from the keeper. And now Brunetta, if you can get this right, we'll find Lutman. Oh, it's end-to-end -end stuff here again. Maxi Romero somehow doesn't get it past the keeper. Oh, I thought we might have a rebound there. Ah, wow. I mean, Asman with a great save and almost another goal at the other end. Cliver into Sessegnon, into the box now. Ryan Sessegnon with the left foot. Well wide. Well wide. Unlucky. Still looking for his first goal in a lead shirt. And some good piercing runs from him in a lot of games. Hasn't quite been able to cap it off. A few assists, just no goals yet. De Jong now into Juan Brunetta on the right foot. Easy. Easy. And there we are. Easy. Fine. It's good stuff. Two goals in four minutes. Bournemouth have been good. That's the thing. And the game has been played at a very fast pace. You can feel it's got a real later round FA Cup tie sort of pace and aggressiveness to it but we've come out on top somehow oh Juan Fran despite his age powering past Joe Gomez ball into the box is blocked rather fortuitously there Cliver what a ball out to Lutman 
It's not a bad first touch either. Preciado comes out to meet him. Lookman with a lovely turn. Low ball in. Looking for Maxi Romero. That's a good goal. That's a very, very good goal. We've scored some slightly fortunate ones here. But from Clivert's crossfield pass into Lookman's fast footwork here. Look to turn one way. Gave him the old razzle dazzle. And that's a good ball in. Maxi Romero in at the near post. Confident finish from the captain. And that should be us done here, despite how bad we've been recently. Surely we can't throw away a four-goal lead. De Jong out to Cliver. Romero flicking to Brunetta. Maxi Romero now through on goal. Looks to chip the keeper. That is fucking good. I'm running out of superlatives for this man. Did I say oh, it was the last game that if I scored a hat-trick I had to call my son Maxi Romero? But I'm still considering it. Could call him Maxi. Middle name the Dragon perhaps. I mean, that is class. Some great goals today. It's probably the best of the bunch. As soon as he got into this position, you know there was big problems for Bournemouth. And that is such a delicate little dink. And that is a game set match here. And Maxi Romero, is that his first hat-trick of the season? We're putting down a marker here in the FA Cup. We want a trophy this season. And Maxi now can score another. <laughs> it's too easy. And that's four. And Bournemouth have folded here. They have completely folded. And Maxi Romero makes sweet, passionate love to that corner flag. I hope you're a little bit more of an attentive lover than that, Maxi. He's still young. He'll learn. He'll learn. It takes longer than that. Gomez, big header. Find C Pats. It's neatly worked. Romero back into Nabry. It's Patterson through the centre. Surely not! Yes! <laughs> As if it couldn't get any better. Get out the bagpipes, boys. Iron brew for everyone. <laughs> there he is. He's been waiting to do that celebration. I don't think it's his first goal, actually. He's just hadn't scored in a long, long time. And the Leeds fans absolutely loving that. Cult hero at the club. We Callum, who has been the source of more pain than any other player, I would say, for Leeds. He's always been fairly dependable. In some ways dependable that he never scores, but today wasn't going to miss that one. Nabry into Patterson. The two substitutes combining to make this one very embarrassing for Bournemouth and a lot of fun for us. It doesn't take the sting away from the ridiculous loss, but it's, it helps. Oh, Patterson will pick that up. Ah, oh, Romero, lovely touch. Away from Francis. Oh, and it's going to be Lookman. In for eight there. Putting down a marker here in the FA Cup. We are a team to be feared. Bournemouth looked really good in the first half. Maxi Romero does well there. Steps inside. Looking for his fifth today. There's a touch from a Bournemouth player. But fell to Lookman. Does a lot of his best work at the far post. Nipping in for little tap-ins. And he's done the very same there. So free kick opportunity here. Will it be Ryan Sessegnon to get his first goal for the club? He's only going to get it over the head of Ryan Fraser. And he does. And there we go. Finally. It's from a set piece. And he's certainly no set piece taker. But Sessegnon today gets his first goal in the Leeds white. In what has been an absolute rout. I think Marcelo Bielsa was a good man. He probably would have said at this point. Nine goals. Just, just chill now. Just chill now, guys. Just chill out. And that is full time here. Nine goals for Leeds United in this FA Cup route. Four for Maxi Romero. But the big stat here is the big fat zero. And Asman gets his first clean sheet in what looked on paper to be a really tricky game. And in the first half, we're certainly panning out that way. We still finished with less possession. We created so many chances. Eddie Howe's side had no chance. Maxi with an 8.5. And Asman with a 6. I mean, what more can you ask from your reserve keeper? Coming in for an injured Butland and doing exactly what we needed. He made a couple of saves. He was off his line well. And we're out of the second round. We didn't make it this far last time. We've got a tricky one next time out. Up against Spurs. And then it could well be City after that. So we've got a difficult route to the final. But with the league probably already chucked away. We're certainly not going to win the league. It's going to take Man City to slip up in a big way. And Juventus next time out for any sort of chance in the Champions League. Wow. I mean, I'm so gutted. I'm almost the nine goals there has made me forget about how shit the last game was. I can't believe we lost in the league to Villa. After going ahead, that was just complacency. Out and out complacency. We've only ourselves to blame. Gutted. I'll see you in a bit.